Good morning. I'm Maurice Barrett. I've got more food for thought. I want to provoke you with these studies to think for yourself. I don't mind if you disagree with me. It's of no consequence to me. I want you to think for yourself. Get revelation from God. And I've called this reason over relationship. You know, Thomas Paine wrote a book, The Age of Reason. And it was very popular. It was a bestseller. But reason is the wrong tree. It's the tree that Adam and Eve ate. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you know what's good and evil, then you can reason, can't you? This is what Satan said to Eve. Genesis 3 verse 5. For God knows that in the day you eat of this tree, then your eyes will be opened and you'll be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when Eve saw the tree was good for food, pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make her wise, she took of the fruit and did eat, and gave also to husband, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened. They now had the knowledge of what was good and what was evil, so they could make their own morality, they could reason. A knowledge of good and evil that allows you to reason. But God wanted Adam to simply obey, not to reason out of knowledge. God didn't want Adam and Eve to know what was good or bad, just to simply obey. God wanted to reveal his will to them. So they were supposed to live by revelation, not knowledge. Proverbs 12, 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkens to counsel is wise. You know, church history, all the revivals have come from revelation, not reason, not from doctrine. In fact, revivals come because people challenge the status quo, the doctrines of the established church at the time. Martin Luther had revelation that we saved by faith alone. He didn't reason it out, it was revelation. He hadn't seen it before. God revealed it and it caused the Reformation. John Wesley had the revelation that he could preach on the unsanctified ground. Before that, preachers thought you could only preach in church, ground that was sanctified. The Baptist had the revelation that we should baptise with full immersion and not infant baptism into the church. They realised that you were baptised into Christ, not into the denomination. The Pentecostals had the revelation that the gifts of spirit didn't cease after the apostles died. That was revelation. They didn't reason it out. Those who reasoned and said that the gifts have ceased push them out of the church. You know, all church denominations are based on reason, not revelation. People fall out and start their own movement because of interpretation of the Bible based on reason, what's right in their own eyes. Did you know there's 33,089 Christian denominations in the world? 33,000? Because of reason, they've reasoned it out. They fall out because of doctrinal differences, not revelation. You know, the law of Moses was because man had stopped listening to God. And they were doing what was reasonable to them, what was right in their own eyes. Abram didn't have the law of Moses. God didn't want to bring in the law. It was a temporary measure, a schoolmaster, because the people had decided their own morality and God had to put it in writing. In fact, he wrote it in stone. I don't believe God wanted the Bible. It was necessary, but he had to put things in writing. You know, the Bible has caused 40 million Christians to be martyred by the Catholic Church because they didn't believe the Catholic interpretation of the Bible. And people were burnt at the stake because they had the wrong interpretation of the Bible. 
Am I against the Bible? Do I read my Bible? Of course I do, I read it every day. But without revelation we're lost. And almost everyone I know reads the Bible with the doctrinal glasses on. They're a Baptist, a Pentecostal, Episcopalian, what, whatever, a Mormon, a Jehovah's Witness. They're all reading the Bible with their own glasses on, not by revelation. We must read the Bible for revelation, not knowledge. Well, what about personal revelation? It's too dangerous for most people. Certainly for ministers, because they've too much to, to lose if they find something new and have to cancel some of the doctrines. Well, I hope I've provoked you to think. Proverbs 21, 2, I'll just finish with this. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord ponders the heart. I've changed my views over the years radically. But I believed I was right. 30 years ago, I had all my doctrines and I thought I was right. Now I've changed them. So in some areas, I was wrong and I needed God to reveal it. I pray that God will reveal truth to you, that you won't reason things out, but you'll ask God for revelation. Well, time's gone. Have a blessed day. Keep seeking revelation and keep thinking.